Hey guys, how's it going? So it's Mike here, as you know. We are in Marktoberdorf, Germany right now. We are at the Fent assembly plant. I'm just out for a little stroll right now. I was out taking a look at all the tractors, but they're all fenced in, so you can't, you can't get over here. You can't take a look at them. But So anyway, a little update. Uh, compliments of Aco, they took a small group of us, around 30 or 40 or something like that, to uh, Venice for a couple days. From Venice, we made our way up to Baganzi, Italy, where the ideal assembly plant is. We checked out that plant. It was pretty cool to see. Um, it's cool to talk with the with the engineers there and the people who run the place. A little disappointed that there was no ideals going down the line. It was just their green combines and those red Italian ones that I can't remember the name of. So that was a little bit disappointing. But anyway. Um, the other thing was we didn't spend long there. We basically got there, we did the tour, we, we they pushed us out. Would have been cool to stay a little longer. Uh, but anyway, then we made our way to Innsbruck, Austria. I don't think I said that right. And I, I have a lot of trouble pronouncing these names over here, I'm not going to lie. So we made our way over there, spent a day and a half there, did a tour. That was super awesome. These guys are feeding us like kings. I'm going to go home weighing 10 pounds heavier. I know I am. So then... We left Austria early this morning. We got here this morning around 10 a.m. Um, and then we're meeting up with like six other buses of people. Like So there's, now there's a total of 300 of us or just under, maybe 289 or something like that. So there's a lot of people here. So um, anyway, we, we get in there. There's already a group on tour. I was a little disappointed also that there's no coffee. I was like, ah, gosh, I really could use some coffee. The coffee did come. It, was, it took about an hour. But it did come. Because nobody wants to eat or drink on the buses because, let's be honest, you always got to pee all the time. And I don't, no one wants to be that guy. I'd be like, hey, oh, by the way, can you pull the bus over because I got to pee on the side of the road? So we wait for our coffee here. And anyway, we got our coffee. We're fine. Also, a little update. Um, I'm like a kid in a candy store out here. And uh, I hardly slept last night because I was so excited to get back here. Yes, back here as I was already here once already. Uh, two years ago in 2017, I think I was here. I took a tour of the plant. It was pretty freaking awesome. Nice, clean plant. Um, so I'm back. And now they have an oval track, you guys. And I know for a fact, and you guys typically know as well, that they always do... They typically will let you do some driving. Now, the logistics of 300 people is an absolute nightmare, so I get that. So I was a little sad that we couldn't do that. And apparently they don't hardly do that anymore because somebody had an accident. Someone got it gone and done and screwed up for freaking everybody and... I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. So anyway, I was quite sad we couldn't drive. That's the second time I've come to Germany, you guys, and wanted to drive on the oval track. Second time shut down. You know why they said last time I couldn't drive? It was minus one. Too cold. Are you freaking kidding me? You're telling me their tractors aren't going to start at minus one? It's ridiculous. Anyway, moving on again. So, uh, run away to Ecotechnica. We'll be there for two days and then from there to Berlin, so hopefully I can take some videos of some cool stuff that I see there. Also a little update on the combines. It's no secret we had lots of issues with the Ideal 9s. Um, I'm going to go through that with you in detail. Every failure, um, every sensor failure, every major component failure. But I just want to get on the same page as Agco, so that way I can say, yes the gearbox piled up, but this is what they got coming. Yes, that sensor went off 432 times, but this is the fix for that. At least that way I don't have to do two videos. So uh, so bear with me. That video will be coming. I think I'm having meetings with Echo in January, so probably expect that video in February. Otherwise, thanks a lot to you guys for hanging with me. This thing looks pretty cool, eh? Too small for most of the stuff back uh, home where I am, but still looks pretty cool. Hopefully I can do some videos with you guys. A little disappointed that they kept the claws, or the claws, oh my goodness. The Challenger seat and the Challenger steering wheel. I was expecting at least the Fent one, but I guess whatever. Alright guys, you have yourself a good one. Thanks for following me around. I will catch up with you guys later.